What's up guys? We're here in a 2022 Model 3 and we're going to basically compare it to the 2023. I know a lot of you guys asked about the suspension and whether it's better. So he is the one who has the 2023 Model 3 and I figured he should drive the 2022. And then we'll get into the newer one and see what the differences are. To my understanding, there's softer springs and they played with the suspension a little bit where essentially what Elon said is that the car can handle the same, it's just way softer. In my opinion, though, the car already rides pretty smooth. What do you think? Yours or mine? Both. I haven't tried oh, yours. Like, so what do you think see. about the Model 3 in general? Model 3? Good, not bad. Yeah. I can't say anything bad about it. Only just some streets. If it's bumpy, obviously it's bad, but I'm sure any car will be like that. But actually, I remember I did drive your car before I got mine. You let me touch drive it. Um, but I forgot really how it was. And now that I've been driving mine for like for almost a month, let's see how it compares to this. Let's go. Yeah. Also, I think for the price range too, I mean, this car would probably compare to like a C-Class or like an entry level, like three series BMW. And those cars, I mean, some of them might consider them like sporty, whatever, whatever, but they don't ride as good as a Tesla, I think. And that could be because of the battery being really heavy and the way the weight is distributed in the car. But yeah, I'm interested in like how you think the ride quality is in this car compared to yours. Honestly, right now it seems smooth, but what did you put on? You always leave it on standard? Or yeah, chill? so, well, yeah, so the acceleration settings that you guys can play around with, you can set it to chill or standard. I have mine set to standard, and the steering is set to sport. That's how I like it. But, like, in terms of, I guess, the ride, we'll see it when we go over some bumps and stuff. I'm interested yeah, in what right you now think. I know I hear these rattles, but I don't know. Okay. You mentioned hey. that before. I don't know if that's from your. <laughs> yeah, okay, guys, to be honest, there are some rattles in here. But that's because there's a lot of stuff in the back, and. I might have taken things apart in this car, but overall, I should mention that this car is one of those unicorn cars that has like the upgraded suspension, as you guys would remember. This is supposed to have like the long range suspension. Really? So the long range has a bigger battery and it's heavier. So Tesla upgraded the suspension a little bit on that car. Oh, wow, but what the heck? Yours is faster than mine. <laughs> it is faster. So this is car, it? yeah. So this car has that performance what motor. How did you get this? Unicorn? I got lucky. So there was like a batch. Guys, about like a year ago, there was a batch of around 200 cars that during the shortage, Tesla basically put parts together. So they got the China battery, and I guess they had performance motors laying around. They put wow, the two boy, together. Wow, this is way faster Whoa. than mine. <laughs> like way, way faster, actually. Okay, so, and this car is definitely, from what I can hear, way, way faster than the new Tesla with the 980, 990 motor, sorry, the non-performance. But I'm trying to yeah, think well, personally, like, I don't know if we can accurately wow. compare the suspension in this <laughs> versus yours because I think this car has a rear sway bar. I know that. What is that? It's like a bar you put in the... It's supposed to prevent the car from swaying too much. Uh, what? To be honest, I don't really know much about it. But I know in terms of suspension, it's nice. And this again, if it has a long range suspension, it would suggest that it's beefed up a little bit to ride a little smoother. And in that sense, it's hard to really compare the two accurately, but we know so far that this car is a lot faster. And again, they're both standard. That's crazy. They're both standard. They're both LFP batteries. The motors are different, but how would you describe maybe, do you feel a difference in the handling? Do you feel a to difference? To be honest, yeah, I do feel a difference in the handling. That's pretty much, as of now, the only thing I feel. It just feels more like kind of sturdy okay. and firm, but in a good way, not in a way where it's like tough to... I don't know, okay. it just feels like nice and well put together. Okay. Mine feels a little kind of softer, but again, usually I guess people like it softer, but I don't know, for this it kind of feels better like this. It feels like more powerful and strong. How would you describe, like when we go over bumps and stuff, does it feel about the same, like, uh, or does it feel a little stiffer? I can't remember, I have a pass by bump, I can't remember if we did. Yeah, so I mean, I doubt the suspension changes are going to be drastic just because they put a softer spring and they maybe adjusted the dampening set settings on the suspension. Maybe if you drive like 24-7, then you might be able to like sense a difference. How would you feel? How do you feel about the seats though? Are your seats uh, softer or my seats softer? Like, I haven't squeezed mine, but squeezing yours, it feels pretty soft. But okay. no, I think mine's are pretty soft enough. Okay. I think it's good. Yeah, these cars are actually very, very impressive to me because for the price, I still think you get 
you get a lot of car. Like it rides very well. Hundred percent. That's what I tell everyone. You know, they say, "Oh, it's a little expensive," but I see for what you're paying for, you're getting so many things in it. Besides just the driving, but yeah. everything else is just awesome. You do also get rattles and stuff. I can't lie, but I haven't driven. I haven't really gotten any rattles in mine, but you'll drive mine right now and check it out. Yeah, I you haven't, haven't driven mine before, right? I've not driven yours, but I also haven't wow, been in a lot of other so electric fast. cars. <laughs> The brakes aren't good though, right? Brakes. What do you think Not about the brakes? Also, I, I like the thing, the turns are good, it handles very It handles well, well. Yeah, that's because of the battery. Yeah, but yeah, at the end of the day, I don't know, it feels good. If I yeah. could summarize it, I would say sturdy, strong, mm -hmm. great handling, and other than that, can't really say much. It's good. Yeah, and I know you haven't done road trips yet or driven a long distance, but like, I've driven to Vegas in this car. Yeah. Yeah, and it's it's just it's such a comfortable ride. Like I don't know if it's the seats, the suspension. I'm sure it's everything, but like I don't get back pain or like you know a lot of cars. Like the seats might be comfortable and stuff, like BMWs and stuff. The seats are nice, but then after a while you're just like, man, this is like really stiff and stuff like that. But I feel like just Tesla's setup is just like pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. But I think that's just the nature of the electric cars with the batteries and all that kind of stuff. What's up guys? So now we're in the 2023. I'm gonna be driving this to see if this car is actually softer than mine. So I've had my car for about like a year now. It's the 2022 with the LFP and the 980 motor. So far I'll say this car already feels smooth. I don't feel any rattles or any weird noises. The steering wheel feels nice. Like I said, I definitely felt a difference driving is. I felt something different, yeah. but let's see what he thinks. Yeah, I mean, off the bat, I feel this is it already feels smoother. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know what it is. But you guys were asking in the comments if the suspension is actually different. I feel it. It feels softer. I want to say it feels a little more like floaty on the road. Yeah, floaty. That's a good way to put it. Floaty. Like I'd say like my car, which is a 2022, feels like way, not way more stiff, but it feels stiffer. Like if I were to take both cars on a track, I feel like my car would do a lot better but the model 3 isn't necessarily supposed to be a track car it's supposed to be something you can just drive every day and it's comfortable and it takes you from point a to point b so yeah let's we'll go on the same path that i drove go over those bumps yeah and see how it performs yeah i mean even in the i feel like in terms of uh, of, the, of the steering too that my car might be a little more planted i could take corners a lot more confidently in my yeah, car i would say that for yours too yeah definitely but this car's really, really quiet. They've really done well with these recent cars. Yeah. Yeah. Back Seems in the like day, like things would just be falling. Mm -hmm. The pillars, like this piece, would just be hanging. It'd just be yeah. normal. And it seems like they actually do take into consideration, for example, with the panel gaps or whatever. I feel like, you know, so many people complained about it, now they made sure to do good on that, right? Yeah. You notice that? Yeah. The new ones? Notice that. Which is a good sign that because they could easily get away with it. There's so much demand yeah. that they don't, they, people might not even care, you know, they just want it, but yeah. it's like actually tried their best to make it as best as possible. Yeah, I would say for sure, like the softer springs, I feel it. Cause I've had cars where the springs, like my brother's car, mm -hmm. he got springs, which were supposed to make the car like a lot more rough. So springs do play a big role in how the car drives. Like, so I just, I just went over a bump right now. It feels, it feels a little more floaty, I want to say, yeah. which would, makes sense but tesla did say that it wasn't supposed to compromise the handling of the car now i don't know if i agree with that i mean i haven't pushed this car and i'm not gonna what do you mean push it push it like do it I feel it's so fast bro but yeah i mean most of the things on this car and the 2022 feel the same if you guys are curious about the suspension yes it's changed a little bit is it like some drastic difference to where you shouldn't get a car that's older than this model year I don't think so. Maybe them putting in softer springs was another cost savings thing for them. I'm not really sure. But at the end of the day, it's a great car. It's a great platform. It's the engineering is, is really, really, really impressive. And for a daily driver, I think it's good. So now I'm going to take a right turn. We're going to go over some bumps. Wow. Soft. Cabin in this car is very quiet because you have double pane windows. I don't know if you know that. Yeah, it's literally two pieces of glass glued together. You know what other cars have that? What? S-Class. I mean, I feel like Teslas, if they're not already, they're gonna be like the Honda Civics of electric cars because yep. they're everywhere. They're not that expensive for electric car. They're very reliable. So yeah, I mean, there's a slight difference. Like the older car feels a little more planted, 
could have to do with the springs being a little stiffer and whatnot. But these cars are still very, very capable cars. They could be a daily driver. If you want to make this a track car, it can do very well on the track. I know people with standard range Teslas that have beat built performance Teslas on a track. So don't sleep on the standard range is all I'm going to say. Like, you know, sometimes they describe cars as like, it feels like you're riding on a cloud. Yeah, it feels more like that. Yeah, now we're not necessarily saying this is a Rolls Royce, <laughs> but... Rolls Royce is known to be like that? Yeah. Rolls Royce is like the ride so smooth, it's like you're floating on a cloud. This car, you could maybe say it's something like that. I mean, five, six series BMWs that are supposed to be like very luxurious. I want to say the ride's very similar to those. But these cars are also pretty heavy for what they are. So that's why the suspension can do much better. It can handle these bumps a lot better. So I think generally like more luxurious cars are heavier because they have more. And also the suspension can accommodate that. But yeah, I mean, Tesla has their own like proprietary suspension. You know, you take a look at it. It's pretty different than other cars. It's not air suspension like on the Model X or S, but you have a spring and you have a coilover system pretty much. Any closing thoughts? You said this is more soft. The 2022 is more sturdy. This one feels like you're on the cloud more. Yours feels like more powerful. Yeah. And strong. And that's all I would say. How about you? Yeah, I, I, to conclude this video guys, basically from what we read, the springs are softer and the suspension has been dampened in a way where the handling was is technically supposed to be the same, the car just supposed to be a lot softer. Now just from me driving this 2023, around corners and stuff, the car doesn't feel as planted. I do feel like it's a little more floaty, which is good and bad depending on your purpose and, and, and how you drive your car. Uh, but I will definitely take either car because they're both very 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 <laughs> capable and the difference isn't difference is not is not drastic at all I'm not like the, saying that the 2022 isn't a comfortable ride. Yes, it's a little more Stiff and more planted, but as a daily driver, it's, it's just great It's a combination of the seats being very very soft and engineered very well to the suspension to the tire setup to everything makes these cars very 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 desirable in my opinion and uh, yeah, definitely drastic wouldn't be the right word to use for the difference, but yeah. for sure you can tell the difference. Yeah, it's, it's minimal, but it's there, and I know you guys were commenting and asking about it, so we can definitely confirm that. Now, if you guys made it all the way to the end of this video, we have the camera fiasco. Some people are wondering if it's actually the 5 megapixel or if it's the 1.2 megapixel, and we'll let you guys know in the following video as to what our findings are in regards to that. That's it for this suspension related video if you guys liked it let us know if you guys didn't like it also let us know we'll be here in the comments to go back and forth and uh have a good time but stay tuned for the next video we have more stuff coming up absolutely see you